Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 10th January first question is which city is the venue of fourth edition of Raisina dialogue right answer is new delhi the fourth edition of Raisina dialogue started in new delhi the theme of this event is a world reorder new geometries fluid partnerships uncertain outcomes so this was the fourth edition and it was organized by Ministry of External Affairs and Observer Research Foundation the prime minister of norway delivered inaugural address miss anna solberg is the prime minister of norway next question is what is the theme of first ever global aviation summit 2019 right answer is flying for all the first ever global aviation summit is scheduled to be held in mumbai and the theme of this event is flying for all recently Mr Jayant Sinha who is the Minister of State for Civil Aviation launched GAS 2019 mobile application GAS stands for Global Aviation Summit so this GAS 2019 application was launched for this first ever global aviation summit this particular event will be organized by Ministry of Civil Aviation along with FICCI If we talk about FICCI it is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry it was formed in 1927 and Mr Ghanshyam Das Birla and Mr Pushottam Das Thakur Das were the founding members it is a non governmental trade association recently Mr Sandeep Somani became the president of FICCI and Mr Uday Shankar became the vice president of FICCI next question is who has been appointed as new director general of ssb ssb stands for sahastra seema bal right answer is mr kumar rajesh chandra if we talk about ssb it is sahastra seema bal and its motto is service security and brotherhood it was formed in 1963 one peculiar thing that should be kept in mind is that it is a capf that means central armed police force capf are under the ministry of home affairs on the other hand military forces are under ministry of defense so presently mr kumar rajesh chandra is the director general of ssb if we talk about few other appointments recently mr sudhir bhargav has been appointed as chief information commissioner mr ak sikri became the executive chairman of nalsa mr vinod kumar yadav became the chairman of railway board mr shaktikant das became new rbi governor after the resignation of mr urjit patel mr krishn murthy subramaniam became new chief economic advisor mr sunil arora is the chief election commissioner and mr arvind saxena is upsc chairman mr nageshwar rao guntur is chairman of aerb and mr jalal sirvastav is the chairman of inland waterways authority of india mr ajay bhushan pande is revenue secretary and mr ajay narayan jha is finance secretary mr ashok kumar gupta is the chairperson of competition commission of india and mr shekhar mande is the director general of csir next question is who has become the first monarch of malaysia to resign before completing tenure right answer is sultan mohammed the malaysian king sultan mohammed has become malaysia's first monarch to step down before completion of 5 year tenure as per the official statement no specific reason was given for this decision malaysia is only country in world to have a rotational monarchy malaysia became independent in 1957 if we talk about malaysia it is a asian country and the capital of malaysia is kuala lumpur malaysia is also the part of asean the most recent summit of asean held in singapore the headquarter of asean is in jakarta jakarta is the capital of indonesia if we talk about malaysia the strait of malacca which is a strategic choke point is between malaysia and indonesia additionally malaysia recently abolished death penalty harimayu sakti is the joint military exercise between india and malaysia next question is which grading index has been introduced by mhrd to assess quality of school education in states right answer is 70 point recently mhrd that means ministry of human resource development has introduced a 70 point grading index 
to assess the quality of school education so the states will be marked out of score of 1000 on the basis of 70 parameters if we talk about mhrd it was in news as recently it has constituted a task force to look into the issues of suicides of students in jawahar navodya vidyalayas dr jitendra nagpal is the head of this task force mhrd also started three new initiatives recently these are leap arpit and spark leap stands for leadership for academicians program arpit stands for annual refresher program in teaching and spark stands for scheme for promotion of academic and research collaboration mhrd recently announced that india will participate in paisa after a boycott of 9 years paisa stands for program for international student assessment and india will participate in 2021 paisa if we talk about education 11th november is celebrated as national education day it is the birth anniversary of maulana abul kalam azad he was the first education minister of independent india next question is on which date the 2019 non resident indian day is observed right answer is 9th of january the pravasi bharti divas which is also known as nri day is observed every year on 9th of january 9th of january is special because on this date in 1915 mr mahatma gandhi returned back to india from south africa if we talk about few important days 1st january is global family day it is also celebrated as world day of peace there is one more day related to peace it is international day of peace it is celebrated on 21st september on 4th of january world braille day is observed and 4th january is also celebrated as independence day by myanmar 9th january is pravasi bhartiya divas this year that means in 2019 15th edition of pravasi bhartiya divas will be celebrated in varanasi if we talk about varanasi recently prime minister inaugurated country's first multimodal terminal constructed on river ganga in varanasi the prime minister also attended one district one product regional summit in varanasi next question is who is the head of rbi panel on digital payments right answer is mr nandan nilekani mr nandan nilekani will be the head of rbi digital payments panel the panel will suggest a medium term strategy for digital payments in india mr nandan nilekani is a co-founder of infosys and he was the former chairman of uidai uidai stands for unique identification authority of india it is a statutory body that means uidai is having the backing of law uidai collect the aadhar data aadhar is a 12 digit unique identification number so uidai is a statutory body it is under ministry of electronics and information technology presently mr j satyanarayan is the chairman of uidai and dr ajay bhushan pande is the ceo of uidai recently rbi also constituted a eight member committee for the revival of msme sector the committee is headed by former sebi chairman mr uk sinha rbi also constituted a committee to review the economic capital framework this committee will be headed by mr vimal jalan he is former rbi governor rbi also launched srphi srphi stands for survey on retail payment habits of individuals so this particular survey will capture the payment habits of individuals in six cities this these six cities are delhi mumbai kolkata chennai bengaluru and guwahati next question is which indian pavilion has won the exhibitor of year award at 106th indian science congress right answer is drdo drdo has received exhibitor of year award at 106th indian science congress if we talk about drdo it is defense research and development organization it was formed in 1958 mr g satish reddy is the chairman of drdo drdo is under ministry of defense if we talk about 106th edition of indian science congress this held in lovely professional university in punjab it was inaugurated by prime minister mr modi and the theme of this event was future india science and technology there was one 
sub event it was women science congress women science congress is a part of indian science congress women science congress was inaugurated by union minister for textiles ms smriti irani there are two more science congress one is national children science congress recently this event held in bhuneshwar in odisha it was inaugurated by mr navin patnaik the theme of this event was science technology and innovation for a clean green and healthy nation there was one more science congress it was indian social science congress it also held in bhuneshwar in odisha it was inaugurated by manipur governor dr najma heptulla the theme of this particular event was human future in digital era next question is the indian economy is expected to grow at how much percentage in fiscal year 2019 as per the latest estimates of central statistics office right answer is 7.2 as per cso that means central statistics office indian economy is expected to grow at 7.2% last year the growth rate was 6.7% so this year it is expected to grow at much better rate and the reason is improvement in the performance of agriculture and manufacturing sector If we talk about CSO it is Central Statistics Office it was formed in 1951 it is under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation however the estimate of CSO is a bit lower than estimate by RBI as per RBI Indian economy is expected to grow at 7.4% so RBI growth projections are 7.4 while CSO growth projections are 7.2 next question is which city is the venue of 6th women of india organic festival 2019 right answer is chandigarh the 6th women of india 2019 will be in chandigarh the event will be organized by ministry of women and child development the objective is to promote women farmers and entrepreneurs in organic sector sikkim is india's first organic state recently sikkim won fao future policy gold award fao stands for food and agriculture organization the headquarter of fao is in rome rome is the capital of italy and recently fao also approved india's idea of declaring 2023 as international year of millets thank you and that's all for the day